Hassan, despite being very successful still and having lots of dollar bills to play around with, uh, is still angry that he is not getting the attention that he feels he deserves. Oh, such is life. Um, let's read this because it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny to watch this fucking Turk Roach bitch that he's not getting what he thinks he deserves. Um, Hassan says, not going to lie, Australia is all nature shit, boys. Not much else out here. It's like Nebraska, but everyone's hot. Uh, CD80 says, Hassan, why can't you be normal? Hassan says, I was very normal yesterday. It's good to ask how animals fuck to an expert. I'm so sad I didn't think the streams are... I think the streams are bangers, but people just don't see them. Like yesterday, content under the other circumstances is an easy 30k stream. Yes, I'm going to stream in a second. So he's apparently, at this time, he was out in Australia, and he was, like, um, just wandering about, like, showing off Australia. Australia is a very cool country. There's lots uh, to show in terms of, like, especially nature. It's, it's, a, it's a, like a full-size fucking continent. It's, like, the size of the United States, and there's, like, 20 million people living there, and they're all in the cities. <laughs> so the majority of Australia is, like, completely untapped original nature and it's a it's a biome that is completely unique in the world there is no other australia uh things there are australian and they're not very similar to things outside of australia so it's a really cool place to wander about especially if you're not terrified of spiders like i am uh, hassan says i like it just say so you no know, in australia there are these things called go golden orb weavers they are everywhere. They're the size of your palm. Easy. Um, they're fucking huge. And they spin these massive net, like nets um, or webs or whatever. But they're huge. Like you walk down the road and you see them in the bushes because they'll, if there's like a clearing in the bush or a hole in the bush, they'll patch that up and they're right fucking there next to you in the size of your hand. Um, I walked under a tree and hit one of these nests. And I swear to God, I, I literally dropped to the fucking ground and rolled around because I didn't know if it was on me. And uh, my friend there, who's Vinny, by the way, <laughs> I guess you guys know who Vinny is now at this point, um, started laughing. But it, it, I, I literally hit the ground like I had been shot or set on fire or something and just started rolling around trying to get the, trying to figure out if I, I had a massive ass spider on the back of my head or some shit. Uh, it was terrifying. Anyways, um, but Hassan, his adventures in Australia don't bring him such joy, uh, even though he's getting 13,000 people just watching him wander about. Um, he's not happy about it. Uh, he says, you guys have to stop giving me that dickhead attention. I know I can't stop doing it, too. Um, Wasap360 says, go swimming in the ocean. There will be like Subnautica in real life. Hassan says, that's what I mean. I literally did that shit yesterday, and there are people in here who didn't even know. So this tranny said, hey, go swimming, because um, in case you don't know, Australia also has unique aquatic life. And Hassan says, I did. But you, despite suggesting this, did not watch my stream. You were not one of the 13,000. You are disloyal. Um, in Lateralt went into the ocean, and motherfuckers in here are, hey, you should go to the ocean. People are laughing at this. Son says, that's a fun content idea. You want no shit. That's why I did it. I swear Twitch streaming isn't about the actual contents, but whether people want to pay attention to you or not and clout. All that shit was a banger. And 13K watch like I'm a fucking game, like I'm gaming at 8 p.m. Hassan says, I am going to kill myself. Uh, which you can't say. That's suicide baiting. That gets you in trouble on Twitch. Yeah, the stream is buffering. Um, I'm sorry. It's just it's just the nature of my connection. It's not stable. It goes up and down. Um, it will catch up eventually, though. So don't worry about it. And I'll I'll put the recording up and should be fine. Uh, Hassan goes on. Say a thing I did one more time as a country idea while I'm complaining about people. No, the burger war chong, war war chong. That sounds like a German word. Va chong, va chong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, you should go to an animal sanctuary. Hassan, you should go to an animal sanctuary. Look at the animals that get excited. 
Hassan says, we used to be a community. This dude sounds like he's one gamba session away from being boss man Jack. I hate my community. You guys are never there for me when I need it. When I go to an animal sanctuary and pet the kangaroos, you aren't there watching me. Um, there will be memes galore after yesterday in real life. No more memes nowadays. I feel kinda a hitty about it, not gonna lie. I'm done. I hate this job. I am not streaming today. Fuck it. I woke up at four to prep. I'm not doing it. Fuck if. No stream today. Bro, what the fuck is this Discord? I hate what my community is becoming. I hate how much people literally despise any kind of fun content. We killed all the normies. Everyone is like brain broken and only want politics. Uh, canceled apolitical activist says, Hassan is just bothered that views are down because he didn't do enough politics. Hassan replies, I don't know. This was a space to convert normies to our politics and people who could enjoy shit. And many of you became like weirdos who don't see that as an important part of the project because you associate leftism with being an annoy annoying douchebag who hates fun. That's true. It's very true. Um, I mean, I can kind of understand, like, he realized that the money was in jerking people off politically, because that is like a job now. Like, if you, if you want to be like a pundit and you just want to tell people what they already believe, um, that is like a job and people will throw peanuts at you. You can't make a stream like challenging people on what they believe. Like, a lot of people don't like that. If you say things that they don't like, they get really angry at you, and then they become anti-fans, and they, they cry about you all the fucking time. So it's, it's more difficult to go against the grain. But if you want to tell people what they already believe, um, that's like free money if you can pull it off. If you can get the audience together. Hassan figured out that if he just goes on to Twitch and he just says, um, socialism is good. Yeah. Trans women are real women. Yeah. Um, basic income, universal basic income. Yeah. Uh, then people will just like, just give him tons of cash, free advertiser money, easy life. And then he's like, oh wait, by doing this though, by jerking off all these retards and telling them what they want to hear for years, um, they're all like literally broke brain Perma, perma cave, they like live in closets or whatever. They're just on their computer, to, on, on their microphone in a closet, like fucking goblins. And they, they don't go outside and pet kangaroos. And they hate outside and they hate kangaroos. And they hate being reminded that Hasanabi is not just some guy streaming in a closet, but actually goes outside and does stuff with the millions of dollars that they've given him <laughs> in their super chat money or whatever. Um, they don't, they, yeah, they don't like being reminded. They, they probably really don't like that. Now that I think about it, if you're like a leftist streamer, it's probably dangerous to remind your audience that like, um, that you're like super rich and you can go to Australia whenever the fuck you want. And you can literally just walk up to a kangaroo and start petting them because you have the money to like buy a kangaroo. That's probably dangerous to, to like show people. That's probably, they, they don't want to watch. Though I think... Also, I think it's worth mentioning that being upset that 13,000 people are watching you is insane. 13,000 people is a huge amount. Like the Kiwi Farms gets about like that amount of people signing in every day. So Hassan's viewing audience is like the size of the Kiwi Farms. And they're all at, like when someone uses the forum, I don't make money off of it. But when someone watches him on Twitch, he does make money off of it. They see ads. Um, a lot of them get subs, you know, and it, it, that's, that's why he's so fucking rich. He has a community the, three times the size of the Kiwi farms, uh, when he's doing his political stuff and all of them are giving him money and he still complains about it. Oh, well. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.